Hi, I'm Linda Hutchinson of L. Hutchinson Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to secure nylon filament jewelry. When you're making a necklace or a bracelet or something with nylon filament, it's a very handy thing because it's clear and it kind of disappears. You don't really see it so much between the beads, which is nice, but it's a little tricky to secure it because sometimes if you try to tie a knot with it, it wants to slide out. So a great way, and then also you have the ends sticking out. If you try to trim them too close to the knot, it'll come undone. It can be a little problematic. So a great way to secure it is to take a crimp bead. You slide one end, <clears throat> excuse me, into the bead, and you're going to use this crimper to secure it. And then you slide the other end going in the other direction. And then the beauty of this is, when you have beads on here, I don't have beads on here so you can see it more clearly. When you have beads on here, these ends can just slide right into the holes of those beads and it just disappears. So now, say you have beads on either end and there you see your little crimp bead. You're going to go in with your crimper, which has a very thin profile, and you're going to do a few steps with it. First, you're going to crush the crimp bead with the first step to kind of flatten it out a little bit. Then you're going to follow that up with the second ridge on the crimper that has like a half moon effect. And you're going to go in and crimp that. Now you're going to go back to the first one, turning that on its side. And then the final step you're going to go in there with the part that's flat, that closes flush against each other, and really crush that bead. You want that bead to be completely crushed against the fibers. And then you're going to go ahead and turn it and crush it again. You want this thing to not go anywhere. You want it to become one with the fiber. And just keep crushing it from every angle until you really have it on there. And that's how you secure filament jewelry. Now when you go to tug like this, it's going to have a pretty good hold. I don't think those beads are going to go anywhere. My name is Linda Hutchinson, and thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.